Welcome to Stories from the Mall, and I want to introduce the cast. Playing with words. The sorrow is all around. A filigree of light on light and shadows behind shadows. A dull glitter in the air. A slow wave seeping and lapping around the ankles. Stories from the Mall. The collection of stories and poems is powerful and tragic. This empty chair and empty table sat he. The morning's eve of mourning were he. Kofi Awunar, the poet, the ambassador. The excesses of man's hunger, mediating still between the simple demands of existence and the dreams and aspirations of all people. Artists hope their work can bring some healing, not only to victims, but to the nation as a whole. One of the pieces asked the questions, um, asked, asked, asked a question, um, we talked about possibility, the possibility that this could come back worse, more tragic, and it asks questions like, who are they? Will they return? These are the questions that people ask. So for months on end, I was always asking myself, if you were in there, would you have survived? You see the stuff on TV from the footage from what happened, it's scary. You can't, you can't, even, you can't even put yourself in that situation. You wouldn't want to, but yet people were there, so I had to pretty much relive like this nightmare that I, I had hoped would have been forgotten, but it's also very necessary to talk about it. These works have a second layer too. They encourage readers and listeners to better process the events at Westkit, but for those who attended the readings, so many questions remain unanswered. To be honest, I'm not really confident in our security systems, so if it's a question of me feeling as if I could just go to any shopping mall and nothing is going to happen to me because I trust them, that's not the case. I really don't feel safe in that context. But do I walk around in fear of you know, getting blown up anywhere? No, because life has to go on. Kenyans across the world are still trying to come to terms with what happened. And they still have so many unanswered questions in connection with the attack. Robert Soy, CCTV.